Thank you. This is good. Everyone's getting good at this game. I like it. <laughs> Can we please make welcome our third contestant this evening, Natalie Thielen, with a speech titled Our Region's Assets. Please make welcome, Natalie. Natalie Thielen, our region assets. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow guests, have you ever been sitting at home wondering what you can do with your weekend? Well, not anymore. With tons of activities in Gympie for people of any age, you'll never be bored again. Think of immaculate sporting fields, nature reserves, and picturesque recreational areas right on your doorstep. And it's all available for anyone and everyone. Soccer, cricket, BMX, basketball, and cross-country running. Sports that are generally performed at multiple events have all been combined into one super area. Now that is an athlete's dream. All this is ripe for the picking at Gympie's One Mile Ovals, located near heaps of schools. Talk about easy access for all sporting students and families alike. The ovals also include many facilities, including two fully equipped undercover touch shop areas and three sets of amenities. All this just sounds way too good to be true, but it just keeps on getting better. Did you know that the current grounds of the one mile ovals were once an old waste containment facility turned sustainable living area? which means that beneath the grounds of the immaculate sporting fields lay tightly compacted rubbish. The one downside to the ovals though is that when it floods, they can't be used for weeks afterwards due to the proximity of the river. Another place that is great for all the family is the Gympie Goldmine Museum and additional ponds. The Gympie Goldmine Museum is an excellent place for all those history fanatics out there as it shows how Gympie helped save the collapse of the Gympie economy. It houses a large collection of historic information, including artifacts and photographs dating way back to the first discovery of gold by James Nash in 1867. As well as the museum itself, it has a, a recreational area, an excellent recreational area, which, is, which also includes a disability park, which is excellent for a family day out. Additionally, the duck pond provi provides homes for hundreds of animals, including <coughs> ducks, turtles, eels, and many other wildlife. Also, the local markets are held every first, third, and fifth Sundays of every month, so it is excellent to visit all the arts and crafts. School classes also visit the gold pans to get a sense of what life would have been like in the 19th century. Though the poor kids, they think they're panning for real gold. Little do they know that they're the fools panning for the fools' gold. And if you're looking for activities for all the family, why not try the Victory Heights Recreational Trails? The Victory Heights Recreational Trails are a local trail network used for walking, mountain biking and horse riding. Developed by a non-for-profit community organisation called the Kalula Trail Care Alliance, it's located just three kilometres away from Gimby's town centre. The trails cover a 60 hectare expanse with varying difficulties for beginner, medium and difficult riding abilities. Activities organised by the Kalula Trail Care Alliance include outdoor education, orienteering, cross-country running and wildlife observation. Local mountain bike competitions also attract many visitors and have many benefits also. They have economic benefits also because of motel living and general shopping, although there aren't many good shops in Gympie. How many of the students here tonight has aspirations to go to university? I'm sure most of you do, but have you thought about the cost of it all? The course itself costs between seven and $10,000, plus the additional <coughs> housing, which is between 15 and 20,000. But what if you could eliminate that cost of living? What if you still could live at home? But because of the U University of the Sunshine Coast in Gibby, you won't have to travel from home. 
you can still live in the town that you grew up in and study there too. The one downside though, is that they only offer very basic courses, such as the Bachelor of Business, Commerce, Education and Nursing. So there are first year courses available for social work, counselling and engineering available also. In conclusion, there are many assets to our region and we're constantly growing and expanding. The activities orientated for both students and families include the Gympie One Mile Ovals, the Victory Heights Recreation Trails, the Gympie Gold Mine Museum and the University of Gympie. Imagine all the possibilities for the future and all the new and exciting places going to be formed in just a short while. Mr Toastmaster. Thank you, Natalie. Guess what happens next? Could we please have a minute of silence for the judges? All right, moving on. Could we please make welcome our fourth contestant this evening, Brianna Van Doren, with her speech titled Great and Small. Please welcome Brianna. Brianna Van Doren, great and small. Mr Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about the progress and prosperity of our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sake and for our own. A quote by Cesar Chavez. Helping achieve the aspirations and dealing with the needs of others, great and small, in our community would certainly be wonderful, and the local council can lead the way. There are many assets in Gympie, but they can do with some improvement. How about being able to take your dog to a dog park, where the dog and you have actually had fun together? How many people have gone to a theme park, spent huge amounts of money, and learnt nothing after travelling over two hours away? Or being able to study that bachelor course in Gympie, instead of having to travel for hours on a busy highway. A dog suitable park, a theme park that is educational, and a university with more variety should be on the hit list for the things to change in Gympie. These changes would have benefits for everyone, great and small. Let's start with the needs of the small in our community. How many of you go to the park? Do you have a highly energetic dog? Do you enjoy exercise? Do you need to exercise? Have you been to a gimpy park and thought about your dog at home, bored, lonely and sad? But when you look across at the dog park, you don't see anything that would amuse them. I do all the time. Recently on social media, a person traveling decided to stop at one of Gimpy's dog parks. But when they let the dog out to have a stretch, it wasn't amused, it was just a fence. as the same as what it would find in its own town. The person was disappointed because there wasn't an agility course that the dog could amuse themselves with. The council has just invested in two dog parks, yet they only I, The council has just invested in two dog parks, yet they only appeal to the travelling dogs or the dogs that don't have room to move. The parks could become so much more entertaining by just a few minor adjustments. Let's start with an agility course for the dogs that like to think and do. An agility course would lead to more opportunities for the dogs to test themselves, like canine athletics. I know for a fact that if there was an agility course, my Kelpie Cross would be in the car ready to go before I could even tell it to come. Dogs like to think and do, not just run around chasing tennis balls and butterflies, though my blue cattle dog tells me otherwise. If there was an agility course, it would improve the health rates of owners and dogs alike. Our council could take the credit for caring for the health and happiness of the old and the young, the human and the canine, with a few simple modifications. Gold, gold, gold. The foundation of Gympie, a commodity that made Gympie the hero for Queensland's economy. But now, the new generations, the rest of Queensland, has forgotten this. Gympie's tourism is deteriorating and the economy is slowly falling. 
and this is only going to get worse when we are off the national highway. One solution can solve both of these problems while re and whilst re-energising the Gympie Sistrat Museum and the Rattler. Imagine this, a theme park in Gympie, one that will boost the economy, tourism and local businesses. A park that will educate younger generations about our historical significance in a fun and new, exciting way. How about a tour through the museum, followed by a crazy coaster ride through the mines, then to top it all off, a river ride down the Mary River where the piners would have panned for gold. There could be a shuttle bus to the Rattler and a market along the railway line. Not only will this park educate people about our significance of Gympie's history, but it will also thrill the thrill-seeking tourists in a new, fun and educational way. Speaking of thrills and spills, university and career paths. It's a topic that daunts some and thrills others, closer for some and further away for others. I, for one, can't wait to go to university and study to get my dream job. But when I look at my courses in my hometown, they are pathetic. We only have 14 options. I mean, seriously, 14. One to do with art, one for nursing, one for counselling, two to do with social work, two to do with business and engineering, two for education, two for accounting and three sciences. I'm sorry, but this is quite limited. We get a university and we can only offer 14 courses. It's no wonder our best asset, our people, have to leave Gympie. I know the council can't control the courses available, but they can nag, petition, complain. Did I mention nagging the state and federal governments to improve our facility so our graduating year 12s are not heading for the hills as soon as they finish high school? If we improved the number of courses available at the Gympie campus, more people would want to stay in this great community. Gympie needs to stop and think about our assets and focus on improving our community. It starts with improving the health and fitness of our dogs and their pets alike then educating our younger generations with an educational theme park. And finally, holding on to our graduating students who could very well be our future leaders and keep the population in Gympie prospering. This is what the community needs, something for everyone, great and small. Thank you, Brianna. Again, could we please have a moment, a minute of silence for our judges?